it's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max Turn Up Borderlands 3 video and today we're talking about Snova Mose, a snow or cryo and Nova and Melee and Terror build that works really really well, has some really awesome synergies and some really really neat interactions on Mose. This build is awesome and a lot of fun to play. We'll get it into everything you guys need to know. If you guys do enjoy the video, if you learned anything though, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So showing on the screen right now is the skill tree for Snova Mose. Now, before we get into the skill tree, we need to talk about what this build actually does and the uh, overall mechanics of it. Now, this build is very much focused on this new Terra Anoint. After reloading, consume all Terra and create a Nova that deals cryo damage. Now, this Nova with our current setup hits for around 53 to 71 million damage per nova does cryo damage and has a huge radius now this build synergizes so well in so many ways but one of the amazing things about this is it does cryo damage enemies that are frozen take 300 percent increased damage from all melee attacks now we are using the anoint on our on our rerouter that melee attacks have a 25 percent chance to apply terror to ourselves we're using a face puncher with the 390 anoint so that when we shoot our face puncher we're going to apply terror and then when we reload our face puncher we're going to get this cryo nova this cryo nova will pretty much kill everything in the game but if they don't die they're then frozen and when they're frozen, they take 300% increased damage from it, which we're already getting crazy damage on our face puncher. But on top of that, it's going to apply Groundbreaker. So every single, sh our next shot from our face puncher is going to get a huge damage boost from that Nova. And the way that this build works is you're basically going to shoot and then reload, shoot, reload, shoot, reload, um, and just keep that up because it'll keep applying terror on every shingle shot and it'll keep spamming these cryo novas now on top of that already crazy synergy we're using a blood letter and a knife drain white elephant every single time that we shoot the face puncher it does melee damage it's going to knife drain heal us to full but because we're using a blood letter it's going to heal our shield to full because we're using a rerouter every time our shield is full it's going to get bonus amp damage on top of it and the rerouter drains every shot, but because every shot's healing, it's going to bring us right back up to full. So th there's so much awesome synergy going on here. Um, and once you get this gear going, it works so well. Now, you don't need a rerouter. You don't need it. It's piss. We're not really throwing these things, but they're pretty much the best in slot that we could have. If you can get an O.M or a one-shotter shield with this melee apply terror anoint, that would be better than the rerouter. However... Uh, those are really, really hard to come by, and the rerouter works just fine for this, and that's what we got. Now, in terms of the weapons and gear, I mainly run a 390 face puncher or a U-Red face puncher. Uh, I'll use U-Red, for example, on like Wotan because 390 anoint will go away very, very quickly. Now, the other thing that you can do, and this was discovered um, by one of my Twitch mods, CZ47, awesome, awesome guy, um, is using a spark plug victory rush with things like the hellwalker and the beacon now hellwalker and the beacon beacon has a nova on it and the hellwalker you can reload really really quickly because the hellwalker you can reload really quickly you can spam out these terror novas but the big downside to that is you no longer have the face puncher you're not gonna go punch things to apply them However, the spark plug does melee damage, so you can slam the spark plug into the ground and then just spam reload the Hellwalker, and every time the spark plug ticks an enemy, it's going to give you your terror, and every time you reload the Hellwalker, you're going to use it, and it's just another crazy, interesting way to play this build. I personally prefer using the face puncher, but there are other ways to do that if you do not want to use the face puncher um i do recommend sticking with like a knife train white elephant though or a knife train static charge if you're going to use the face puncher now for bossing um 
we're not really getting much damage out of these anoints for bossing. Like, you're not going to kill Grave Ward with this Cryonova because he's too far away. So for bossing and things like that, you can put on shields with ASC Melee and ASC 50 uh, Incendiary. That makes the bossing pretty good. But with our normal setup, the bossing isn't amazing. However, the face puncher with the 390 works on short fuse and works on fire the Skag Den. And we're using those white elephants, which will get short fuse and get Skag Den. So uh, this build does plenty of plenty of damage. Now, these two uh, anoints that we're rocking don't require us to hop into Iron Bear. In fact, nothing that we're using requires us to hop into Iron Bear. So this is a iron bearless build uh you don't need to hop into iron bear ever uh, unless you are using ascs for bossing but it's you can can completely ignore it now for our skill tree pretty standard uh skill setup nothing too crazy we don't need grizzle because we're not using iron bear fire in this gag den for that bonus incendiary damage on our white elephants um Means of destruction, more grenade ammo chance toward cross promotion for that bigger splash damage, increasing our uh, short fuse damage and our white elephants, stainless steel bear to boost fire in this Gagden. Pull the holy pin. Uh, some people get confused. White elephants aren't grenades. Uh, they're not going to get holy pin, pull the holy pin. They're not going to uh, crit because of it. Um, they'll crit because if you hit an enemy in the head with the face puncher, those can crit. Um, but pull the holy pin is. Honestly, pull the holy pin and vampire are kind of just trying to get down to short fuse. Um, there isn't anything else that we really, really need here. Uh, but short fuse is just such great damage that we're trying to get down there. We have, we're pretty much unkillable with the knife train because it's going to get our shields up to full every single time we shoot. So the only time that you're really going to possibly be dying is reloading. Um, but your reload is going to send a huge cryo nova that will just kill everything. So we're all set there. Um, for the red tree, we're, we're relying on our shield being up all the time because uh, with the rerouter, it's always going to be getting healed with the knife train. Now, the rerouter isn't the greatest choice for a melee build. As you guys know, uh, this would be working pretty much uh, a little bit better if we were using things like a brawler's ward. But the amp damage here is really really nice and Moe's doesn't synergize very well with using like shields while they're depleted um and so the rerouter here is honestly a great choice and we're using a bunch of shield skills so that it gets as beefy as it possibly can now things like desperate measures and phalanx doctrine uh, give us extra gun damage you may not think that that would be very helpful for a melee build but the face puncher will actually benefit from these gun damage bonuses and we're getting a ton of them, which will increase our damage overall. We are able to pick up Tenacious Defense. We're not going Deathless, meaning that we'll always have this little bit of health, um, depending on the roll of your blood letter. If you get more points into Thin Red Line, you'll lose that extra health, and that's kind of up to you on if you're gonna keep it or lose it. But because we are keeping that extra health, we can actually use Tenacious Defense which is really, really nice because it's a solid capstone when you're going deathless. You can't really get much benefit out of this besides when you go into fight for your life. So uh, we can pick up that capstone. And lastly, in the green tree, we're going Cloud of Lead, Stoked the Embers, and Redistribution. Just really, really strong. Most skills going to boost our incendiary damage. We're doing a ton of it with Skag Den and give us more ammo and health regen. How this build plays is... Shoot your face puncher, reload, shoot your face puncher, reload, shoot your face puncher, reload. Uh, everything around you dies, and it's a really, really cool and unique way to abuse this uh, terror anoint because it actually works well. It's going to hit 10 to 20 million if you're not using the uh, 390 anoint, but if you are using 390 anoint, easily uh, into the 70 mils, which just is awesome and if they don't die they're frozen and they're just gonna get hit even harder by your figs puncher guys that is it for the build just a short one for y'all i hope you enjoyed i uh, hope you learned something new this will build will be in the discord if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace I was